what would happen in the wild if there was a tooth fairy? Do you see how much this pillow is like sinking in? <laughs> you say it's funny now. <laughs> I don't think so. <gasps> what did the tooth fairy bring you? Moksha. Moksha, where are you? Moksha. Oh, what are you, what are you doing over there? Totally normal. That's a nice bed you got there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm out here in the woods with a bed because I've actually been waiting for this to happen for a while and that is Bubbles lost a baby tooth. <gasps> Look at that. So I don't know what else to call it besides a baby tooth. She's 40. Um, but they actually get to go through six or seven sets of teeth in a lifetime where we and the chimps we only get two, right? So the reason they get to go through so many teeth is because they eat trees, right? Like I've seen her chomp down some serious branches. And what happens is all of that actually gets worn down. See how this is actually flat? There's nothing left there to actually do any grinding. So that tooth actually gets pushed out, a new tooth comes in from behind, and she's able to chew up food again. This is a replica of one of the biggest teeth ever found. Can we show them, Angara? And see all those crazy ridges? That's what's gonna help them to really seriously grind down all of that plant matter. The record tooth that they found, I heard, was 10 pounds. One molar. <laughs> so anyway, her losing a baby tooth got me thinking, what would happen in the wild if there was a tooth fairy? <laughs> I think. We should just put this under the pillow and see what the tooth fairy brings. An elephant tooth fairy. I actually saw that Bubble's tooth was loose and that it was pushed all the way up front, but you can't like reach in there and pull it out or help her out in any way. Um, I know a lot of people have had different experiences and how their parents have taken their teeth out, pliers, uh, maybe a piece of floss and they yank it out or put it on the door. Uh, Doc's grandson actually a couple of years ago was losing a baby tooth and he wasn't sure what to do about it so we had Sagriva try to help him and then we actually had Bubbles pull his tooth out for him. <laughs> We're gonna add that video now. Did, uh, did you keep any of Angada's baby teeth? Angada still has all of his baby teeth. Ooh. We have He hasn't lost any yet. He's gonna lose them right about the same time as we lose them. Chimps grow at almost the exact same rate as us. They hit every stage in life at almost the same time. These guys are 98% us, right? What do you think? I actually had a baby tooth that got impacted and I had to go in and have the orthodontist pull it out. Are you gonna have Bubbles pull his tooth out? I don't think he would like that. I don't think he would like that. You say it's funny now. I don't think so. He's a little nervous of Bubbles. Uh, all of the primates are nervous of her and I think it's just because she's so big. And when I say she's so big, she's petite for an elephant. She's only nine feet tall and 9,000 pounds. I heard the record was somewhere around 24,000 pounds. What? Yeah, she's just a tiny little girl. Is that in, the, in the wild? Is that him? I think that was a wild elephant. Oh, wow. I think that was a guesstimate. Of course, you can't get them on the scale. We have a scale and we actually weigh our elephant all of the time because you can't look at her and see if she lost 100 pounds or gained 100 pounds, right? So we put her on the scale all of the time and make sure that that is, that she's healthy. We open up her mouth, we're able to look in and see those big crazy teeth and make sure that, that all of those teeth are healthy. I think we're gonna need a bigger bed. <laughs> she's 9,000 oh, pounds. Oh, <laughs> so do you guys know this? Um, once an elephant actually reaches adult size, Oh, wait, that's where the baby tooth was. Oh, he tries to do it. He's trying to be the tooth fairy. You're not the tooth He's fairy. The tooth I'm tooth sure fairy of it. <laughs> so Bubbles lays down two hours a night, and that's just because she knows that she's safe. But if she was in the wild, she would never lay down. So elephants, that's crazy. elephants sleep standing up? Elephants sleep standing up. That's crazy. Yeah. Meanwhile, this guy sleeps in a plush bed. Living the dream. Living the dream. Getting tickled all day long. 
You think we got a big enough pillow for <laughs> for her tooth? <laughs> Oh, well, it's an elephant tooth, yeah. you know. <laughs> you see how much this pillow is like sinking in? <laughs> a 10 pound tooth. It has to be like the rock <laughs> as a tooth fairy. Look. So, this actually is Bubbles' favorite tree. This is called a myrtle tree, and it's actually what Myrtle Beach was named after. So, you know what? I think we should put this on here for her, too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case the tooth fairy doesn't show up, at least she'll get some myrtle tree, right? right. It's her favorite. She it's loves a snack it. Snack <laughs> for the tooth fairy. So when I went to Africa, um, I asked the guides what was the elephant's favorite. Woo! There you go. He's off on adventure. What was the elephant's favorite tree to eat? Because I wanted to know if it tasted anything like Bubbles' favorite tree here. No. This is an incredibly intense flavored tree. Um, the one that I tried in Africa was actually a little sweet. I kind of liked it. I get it. You tasted yeah, the tree? It. I mean, the guide said it was fine. <laughs> as long as he tasted it first. <laughs> he didn't, but he said it was fine, so I tried it. I got excited because I found a tree nearby that looked like Bubble's favorite tree in Myrtle Beach, um, which is actually the Myrtle tree. I tried it. It was just dry. There was no flavor to it whatsoever. Um, so I decided I needed to try the elephant's favorite here, and this is the acacia. Let's see, maybe, maybe it's going to be spicy like Bubbles' favorite. And it's definitely more flavorful than the last one I tried. Hmm, it's sweet. I get it. That's pretty good. Look at this tiny little baby right here. Just a couple weeks old. Mama has shown no fear, no aggression. She's just here eating. The baby's wandering around. Everyone's calm, cool, and comfortable. Absolutely spectacular. in the whole wide world is she's saving it to last she she's gonna go for the watermelon Ooh. she loves the watermelon <laughs> oh check oh, that wow. out <laughs> a serious suction power bub bub that's just like a big pill mm. oh juicy on the bed yum <laughs> yeah get all the carrots too what a good girl bub bub you love the tooth fairy? <laughs> Angada thinks you're a little bit scary. Yeah, it's okay. Get all that watermelon juice. You deserve it, you big beautiful girl. So Bubbles actually turns 40 years old this year. That's crazy. She Look got bumps. She's how under the crazy bed. that is and how well she can move things around with that crazy trunk. 30,000 individual muscles make up this giant, incredible hand that she has. So I heard that the record for an elephant um, actually in a zoo was 88 years old. I don't know if it's true. I hope Bub Bub lives forever. Hi, you big, beautiful girl. <laughs> you know, we should have hit it underneath the mattress, so that way it would have been a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> she she moved that. pick up the whole mattress. Yeah, she moved she that pillow. She smell it. <laughs> With she very has an incredible mess. sense of smell. She has an incredible sense of hearing, um, but they say they have mediocre eyesight. 
Look at that. Is she just gonna chew it all the way up with those brand new teeth she has in there, huh? Yeah, you good big girl. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.